as you can imagine, pretty excited. Um, no, it was uh, it was one of those things that, like O said, it's one of those things you can't put into words to describe it correctly. Um, I had two people at the house sitting there when I found out. I just started screaming, just like, just yelling like you would have thought I was on the on the field on game day. Uh, just exciting, you know what? And, because it's, it's the potential, it's knowing exactly who he is and knowing what type of, of guy he is. I mean, his play and his ability speaks for itself, but then, you know what, the, the things that we talked about all throughout last year of what we need, the types of guys we need in this locker room to go in the right direction, and that's that's the best thing that it's about that. He's a team guy, um, and he's going to be a, a great presence for us in this locker room. So there's only one ball. It's going to be in your hands. How do you keep everyone locked in and I'm worried about getting their share. They're team oriented. They, they want to win. Um, probably just close my eyes and throw it and hope one of them catches it. Uh, no, that I'm not worried about that. They, they know I'm going to do my job uh, and, and, I, and I hope they trust me to do that. Odell has a reputation back in New York of being one of the hardest working players. He's a hardest working practice player and obviously in games as well. How do you think he can affect the tone and the way the locker room is here in Cleveland? Oh, he'll get a run for his money on the competitive work ethic nature. But that's that's what we know what type of guy we're getting. Uh, I think Freddie needs to continue to be himself. You know, everything that he stood for last year when he was the interim offensive coordinator was about being up front, uh, holding each other accountable, uh, working hard, working for us, and, and being just up front about everything. And I think just to set the tone with everybody, a lot of the defensive guys haven't had a chance to be around him. So being that same guy he was for us as an offense, uh, that second half of the year, and getting around those defensive guys, getting to know them, making sure that they can trust him and just you know believe in what we're doing. Uh, you know we're not going to have it all figured out right now, but come September we're going to be ready to go. You know everybody's going to say that we could be and should be Super Bowl contenders. Yeah, we know that. Every every person in that plays in the NFL should believe that, but I've always firmly believed you set your own expectations. Nobody else really matters. No offense to you guys. You can write all you want about what we have, but if we don't set goals for ourselves and believe in those and work for it, it doesn't really matter.